So in this video, we will learn how to send trading view alerts on Slack channel. Now suppose guys, you have created some kind of alerts in trading view for your goals and you want whenever your favorite stocks or index reach that good, you get an alert from trading view. You want to send the details of that alert on your Slack channel as a channel message. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So a trigger of this automation will be getting an alert on your trading view account and the action will be sending those alert details as a channel message on our Slack channel. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get the free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as trading view to Slack and then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our TradingView account with Public Connect so that we can get stock alert updates from TradingView inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those updates to our Slack channel. Now to begin with guys, here in Trigger window, in Choose app, search for TradingView. Select TradingView over here. And after that, here in Trigger event, from the drop down, select New Alert. After selecting a Trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now to use this webhook URL guys, you just have to follow the help text given below over here. So while creating an alert inside trading view, we have to add this webhook URL with that alert. So every time that alert is hit, every time that alert is updated or a stock re reaches around or crosses around that alert, what we have created, the data from trading view will be sent to this webhook URL and we can see that data, these details inside public connect. So it's not that complicated. Let's start. So just copy this webhook URL from here go to your trading view account. Now here guys, you have to select the stock or the indice in which you want to get the update. For example, let's take example of Nifty. So I want to create an alert for Nifty over here. So I'll just click on this alert section, open chart. After that, just go to this alert section and start creating an alert. So right now it is trading at 18,314 points. So I want to set up an alert that whenever it crosses and mark of 18,040, for example, let's take the alert value as 18,040 and 00. So whenever it crosses this value guys at this point, I want to get the updates. So here the condition is that for what uh, condition we are setting up this alert. So is it for the indice or the stock or for the volume? So, so I'm setting this alert for the stocks, for the stock price, not the actual volume. After that, it is asking me for the condition. So in the drop down below, you can see different conditions which you have like crossing, crossing up, crossing down, greater than, less than, entering channel, exiting channel, inside channel, outside channel, and all of this. So for what kind of conditions you want to get the alert, you can select that over here. I want to set up the alert for crossing that whenever this stock or this indice crosses this point, this mark over here, then we want to get the details. And after that, guys, here it is asking us option that only once we want to get the details or every time. So if you want to get the details or the updates every time it crosses or this in uh, this event is happening for this particular stock or indice, then select this. So I want to get the details every time. So I'm going to select every time over here. After that, it is asking us for the expiration time that at what time this alert gets expired. So I will be selecting ex expiration time as, for example, 2.30 p.m. So just select the time as 2.30 p.m. and any date of your choice. So you can choose any date in future and at any time in future according to your choice. Then after that, it is asking us to show pop up and to add the webhook URL guys. Here you have an option of webhook URL. You just have to select this option and then here in this webhook URL section, you have to paste the same webhook URL which we have copied from Public Connect. So in this way, we are going to connect our trading view alert with Public Connect. And whenever this alert will be uh, triggered or this alert will be sent from trading view, automatically we will be getting that data inside our Public Connect workflow over here. 
After that, guys, here the last part is, and it is the most important one. That is the message. That what is the message you want? So this is a default message. If you want, you can add some other details regarding the same alert as well. So here you can. It is showing us the help text is showing us. You can use special placeholders such as close, time, plot, and etc. So when you click on this help option over here. You can see all the placeholders which you can set. So if you want, you can get the time that at what time you have received this alert. If you want, you want to get, you can get the exact price that while crossing it or while hitting this alert, what was the exact price of that stock or indice? Or you can get some other details regarding to it as well, like volume and other things as well. So here, guys, by clicking on this help option, you can see all the placeholders which Trading View offers. So in my alert, I want the name of the stock or indice. I want the event. And then I want the current price, the actual price that at what price it is trading right now, or at what price it has crossed. So here we have selected Nifty crossing and this point, and this is the same value which we have entered over here. After this, guys, I want my next point to be or next thing which I want to receive is the time. So here I'm going to create a placeholder for time, and after time I want to get the volume. So volume. And then in double curly braces, write volume over here. So in this way, you can add multiple placeholders. So I will be getting the name of the stock or indice for which I have created the alert. I will get the status and for what status we have created this alert. Then we get the time, we get the volume, and at last I want to add the close. I want to get the actual value. So at what value it gets closed? So I'll be adding close over here. So in this way, uh, you can add multiple. Placeholders as well. So by clicking on this help button, whatever placeholders you can see over here, you can add all of these placeholders over here and get those details as message in your public and unique workflow. So I'm keeping it simple. I'm just getting all of these data. So in this way, you can create alert and add this webhook URL to get those alert inside public connect. After this, guys, just click on create. And as we click on create, guys, here we will see that this alert will be created over here. And yes, it is showing us the alert is active. And just now, guys, after creating this alert, the Nifty index has crossed this mark for which we have created the alert. And we will see in our public connect workflow, we have also received the same response. So we were lucky, guys, that the alert which we were receiving has crossed the mark. So we have here we have received the same alert another time. So in this way, you will keep on getting the alerts because we are selected the alert option as every time. So every time the Index or the stock is going to cross this mark. We will be getting the alert on this webhook URL and also in our Trading View account. So right now, let's click on Save, guys, and let's keep it OK. So just let me pause this alert because it will be getting us a response every time. So let me pause this alert for now for a few minutes while we set up this workflow. So we have successfully connected our Trading View account with Public Connect and received the data, received the alert details in Public Connect workflow. Now what we have to do, we have the exact message which we have created while setting up this alert. So while setting up this alert, we wanted to mention the date and time that at what date and time this event has happened. We have received the alert. Then after that, we wanted the volume. So it is trading at this volume right now, and this is the current price. So after crossing this, it has reached to 18,343.1 points. Now, guys, what we want to do, we want to send this alert or this update instantly to Slack channel as well as a channel message. For that, just scroll down, come to your action window, and here in Choose App, search for Slack. After that, in action event from the drop down, select Send Channel Message and click on Connect. Select Add New Connection. So here, guys, we have to connect our Slack account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this Connect with Slack button. And here it is asking us that what kind of connection we want. We want a user-based connection or a bot-based connection. So I'm entering user. If you want to know the difference between both the connection, just click on this hyperlink over here and click on save. Now, because guys, I have already logged into my Slack account in my browser, Public Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the permission. Just click on this allow button in this permission section. And then now we can see that our Slack account gets connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the channel that on which Slack channel we want to send this message or this stock alert updates. So here in my Slack account, I have created a channel named as Stock Alerts. So I want to send the updates on this channel. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the channels which we have on our Slack account, and out of which we have to select the channel on which we want to send the message. 
After this, it is asking us for the message that what is the message we want to send. So we want to exactly send this message which we have received from TradingView inside Fably Connect. So what we have to do, we have to basically map this response, this message or this update which we have received from TradingView over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see the response, the message or the update which we have received from TradingView can be seen over here. And we just have to select this response and it will be mapped over here. So whatever update, whatever details we get from TradingView, the same data will be received inside Public Connect and then it will be sent to Slack as well. After that, it is asking us image URL, all tags and other details as well. So all of these details are not mandatory, not required. So if you want to share some kind of image, you can also share it. But right now in this automation, we are not sharing any kind of image. That's why we are just ignoring this field. After this, in this message, guys, let me tell you, if you want, you can manually add some kind of text as well. For example, if you want to add hello, everyone. So in this way, you can add text as well with these details. And also you can map the data as well. So right now, I just don't want to send any kind of man message in with this message. I just want to send or share the data which we get from trading view. Then you can enter the name of the bot. So in on a Slack channel, a bot is going to share these details. So what will be the name of that bot? You can enter it over here. And right, if not, you can just ignore these fields. After this, guys, you just have to scroll down and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here we can see that we have received some response. And in this response, we can see that the details which we have mapped over here, basically the updates which we have received from TradingView are sent as a message on our Slack channel. So let's check it. We'll go to our Slack account. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same update message which we have received from TradingView is automatically shared on our Slack channel over here. So here, guys, we can see that this is the same message. This is the same stock or indice for which we have created the alert. This is the same alert type. And for this value, we have created this alert that whenever this indice of Nifty crosses this mark, we want to get the alert. Then we have the date and time that at what date and time they have crossed. We have the volume at, at which it is trading right now and exactly at what point it is. So now we can see that the connection, the automation which we have created between TradingView and Slack using Pabli Connect is working perfectly fine. Now every time guys, what we have to do, we just have to create some alerts in our TradingView account. And using this automation, whenever those alerts are hitted, automatically we will get the updates on our Slack channel. So guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once as well. So right now, while setting up this automation, we have paused this alert. Just restart this alert once again, and we will see that we will automatically get the response. So as we started the alert, it has once again hit it across this mark of 18,340 points. And we will be seeing that in our Slack channel, we are once again getting this response, getting this data. And this time, the time is different. Last time when it crossed while we have received the data in Public Connect, it was at 7, 7 p.m. So this time is in UTC time format. So you just have to convert that time according to your time format as well. And right now when we have restarted this, we can see that we have again received the response. So again, it has crossed this mark and again we have received an update and we have received a Slack channel message as we received the update instantly. So this means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now every time guys, we are going to get the updates from our trading view for the alert which we have created. Instantly the details of that alert and update will be sent on a Slack channel as a channel message. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this workflow for absolutely free. And guys, if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free because Public Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.